Hey guys, today I'm going to show you this game called Flashback. I used to love this game when I was a kid, and I recently picked up a copy of it in the box, it, it, as you can see. But um, this game came out for the Amiga PC in uh, 1992, and it was then ported to the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo and DOS in 1993. So here's the intro to the game. There's a lot of animation in this game. And as you can see, it's pretty impressive. It's all real-time animation. Now I also have this game on the 3DO. Uh, I really don't like the 3DO version. Um, it's basically a port of the Sega CD version. And uh, instead of real-time video, like this is, uh, they've gone to like a pre-rendered video. But the video quality itself is horrible. It's, it's a small, small screen and it's really grainy. The music isn't as fast paced. It just. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Like I said, the music alone, uh, you know, with the real time video. I like the Genesis version as well, but the music just isn't as good, like I said. The music on the Super Nintendo version is, is far superior. So here's the main menu, and I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna load up level two. Um, level one doesn't really represent the game overall, and I really don't like level one, so I'm just gonna start on level two. More animation. Like on, like I said, almost every level's got animation, and. Uh, you know, kind of continues the storyline. It's actually a pretty decent storyline too. It's kind of kind of reminds me of uh, like Blade Runner and uh, Total Recall. Um, basically, your character right now does not remember anything. His memory's been erased from him. That's why the game's called Flashback: The Quest for Identity. And um, your characters we're not on Earth right now. Um, so for some reason, someone's erased his memory and they've uh, kind of left him here. And the game kind of plays like Prince of Persia in that your character can't fall more than a few uh, stories or else he'll die. He can't jump really, really high, but there's lots of like ledge, ledge grabbing and uh, it's, a, it's a more realistic style control. The way your character moves is very realistic. As you can see, there's there's gunfights. Now your character has a shield on him. The shield fully regenerated will take three hits, and after that, one hit will kill you. So it's fairly realistic in that manner too. You don't really have a health bar. But here's our friend Ian. We're going to talk to. And he's going to kind of fill us in. We're going to find out here what's really going on. Uh, Ian's got the ability to give us our memory back. So, although right now we don't know who we are, we're about to find out. Now basically, this is in the future, and on Earth, aliens are invading. Basically, aliens are living amongst us, and uh, our main character was catching on to that, and he also invented this device here um, that could tell the difference between the humans and the aliens. So, our character was, you know, on to them, and of course, because of that, they wanted to eliminate him. Now the animation at times does get pretty slow, as you can see here. Um, um, they run a lot smoother on the DOS and Amiga versions. Uh, if you play this on an emulator, they'll run a lot smoother, oddly enough. Uh, I don't recall if the Genesis version runs any smoother. Um, it's possible that the animation on the Genesis version runs a little bit smoother, but the music for me just kills it. So. So here's your character, he knows the aliens are onto him, so he's actually taking his memory and he's saving it. 
that way if anything happens to him, what he knows doesn't get lost. And speaking of something happening to him... Here's where your main character gets taken out. Now they don't kidnap him, these aliens, they just, they, they don't, sorry, they don't kill him, they just kidnap him. So here they're saying that they've erased your memory. Here you can see your character in the background uh, sneaking out. And this is where the beginning of the game came in. Your character getting away on his bike and these guys shoot you down. So now we know who we are. We want to get back to Earth. We need papers. We need obviously lots of money. It costs lots of money to get to Earth. <laughs> and our character doesn't have a lot of money right now. so. So like I said, this is the second level, it's basically still the beginning of the game, and uh, our character wants to, get, uh, wants to get to Earth. So the first thing that you have to do is get, it's kind of like a social insur insurance card, and once you get that, you can get, you can get jobs. And your character takes up different jobs, uh, they could be anything from killing someone to protecting someone. And, uh, you know, he gets uh, different amounts of money for, for completing different jobs. Uh, you pick up a lot of items in the game, so your character has an inventory. You know, and a big part of the game is, you know, figuring out where to use, uh, use what and where to get, you know, certain keys and stuff like that. So here's Titan travel. Titan is where we are right now. Like I said, we're not on Earth. We're on a planet. I believe it's a moon. It's called Titan. Um, eventually we'll get enough money, hopefully, to get us to Earth. Now this first level is kind of like the main city of Titan or whatever you want to call it. It's divided into like several um, sections, like three or four sections. Um, see right now we're in Asia and now we're in America and this little kind of uh, taxi thing takes you around to the different areas. So like I said, first things first, we're basically just trying to get our uh, our social insurance card so we can get a job, and then we have to find uh, find different jobs and and then get your money for completing them. But uh, yeah, it's a really good game. If you haven't played it and you know you're into this kind of game, check it out for sure. Um, like I said, if you play it on the emulator. Um, the animations do run a lot smoother, so that's a bonus there. But anyways, I'm running out of time, so that's Flashback. Check it out.